Greetings, everyone, and welcome to our Kelly Appeal TV. Today is May 10th, 2022, and we have an update. The postponement for Robert Sylvester Kelly's um, extension for November has now been denied again. Um, so there was a conference call today, Central S Standard Time, and I wasn't able to get to that conference call, but I knew that I wasn't sure what would happen, but I knew if it was open to the public, anything and all things would have went for up for grabs. We have a lot of people in this world that believes that Robert Sylvester Kelly is 100% guilty and there is no, you know, um, that he shouldn't see the light of day. And then you have supporters and fans and, you know, individuals who feel that he deserves that opportunity to be heard, uh, hearing that, you know, his trial can move forward in a positive way with all that he's going through. But for some apparent reason, there was an issue with the conference call today. And um, mm, we do have some commenters and some um, people who run uh, blogs and vlogs. And I heard that a lot of people were very disrespectful on the conference call and that R. Kelly wasn't given the opportunity to, you know, really be heard. That it's attorney Bonjean was unable to be understood um, and that people were very disrespectful. And, you know, everybody has their opinion. I get it. I get it. But as April Shower said, I, I had to listen to her commentary because I was unable to be there. Um, and the only thing I can say is that the reality of everything beyond the drama, beyond the chaos, beyond the, you know, upsetness that's going on right now, there's nothing we can do about the fact that the trial moves on August 1st. So again, anyone who is truly behind Robert Sylvester Kelly, I pray and I hope that you continue to use your energy and your strength to be as positive and productive as you possibly can. Um, and I know right now his energy is probably depleted a little bit because of, you know, what could have taken place during the conference call, if you will. I actually went online and I tried to find some articles. Um, it said nothing about... Um, you know, anything other than the fact that the Chicago trial is still set for August 1st, judge rejects motions to delay. And that was six hours ago. And it's just, um, she was telling U.S. District Judge Harry Lewin-Weber today on a telephone conference call that there is an exorbitant amount of material to digest to prepare for trial. She also noted that Kelly is potentially looking down the barrel of a life sentence and that in rejecting the request, the problem is this case can uh, has been delayed time and time again. This is what uh, Judge Lewin Weber was saying. It's been delayed time and time again. This case is going to have to go to trial. Bonjean, attorney with Chicago Roots, who helped free actor Bill Cosby, filed a motion earlier this month seeking to dismiss several of the charges pending against Kelly. The singer is charged in Chicago's federal trial, uh, federal court with child pornography and obstruction of justice. Lewin Weber did not rule on that motion Tuesday. So it's going to go forward. And that's it. Um, a lot of people are saying they're frustrated over how people behaved during the conference call because of the fact that um, people were people were actually acting out 
during the process. And it's really sad because um, that could have swayed the emotional offset of the judge it's himself. Because with the things that were being shouted out, the way that things were being shouted out, supposedly, this is allegedly, I was not there. I did not hear anything. Um, I was dealing with a septic issue at my house. So I wanted to really be there. But when they said that it couldn't be recorded, I was just like, well, somebody will tell me what happens because they'll be there to listen. I just didn't have the time to do so. I I feel that um, I did read and um, review an article about how people are supposed to behave in court. And I know as a criminal justice major, Contempt of court is when anyone stands up and disrespects the court, uh, the order of the court, the, um, it, it's supposed to be a quiet thinking session. This is a mental practice here. So when you have people, according to, you know, two bloggers that, um, said that there was a conference call chaos, when you have people doing that, because it's a federal trial, they already know that um, who was already on the line. That's the reason why they have numbers for you to call in and you use a code because that code is linked specifically to telephone numbers, databases, more or less, because if um, someone said anything that was outlandish, they can easily go in, get the codes of, of digit digital codes, and they can track everybody who was, you know, um, in contempt of court. And that's what it's called. It's called contempt of court. Now, um, the problem that I have is with the fact that did, will this affect Mr. Robert Sylvester Kelly? Because if it will affect him, I don't think it should, but I believe that that was a reason for denying the, um, the extension possibly, I don't know if this was a setup. I don't know if this was something that was done on purpose or if it was just emotion because they haven't heard from him. They haven't seen him. Um, and I just feel, I feel very, I feel, I don't really know how to put it. I don't know how to put it. But this morning at three o'clock, I got up and I wrote something um, and I want to share it with you. I don't know where it came from. It just showed up. And so I got on my text and I started texting myself and I said, I'm not going to even uh, try to edit it or anything. I'm going to do it, read it straight raw to you. Feeling good being single until you are comfortable meeting the right person for you. What R. Kelly must prepare for mentally when he returns. It made me think of the R. Kelly case and how he has survived the lies and betrayal of so-called friends and loved ones. To say a person loves someone, they must first know how to love themselves. They must first be loyal to themselves. Now, I understand what it means by the quote, the love of money is the root of all evil because it taints loyalty. When a person loves money more than morality, they will have a twisted sense of thinking. The lie becomes a truth that only the liar can understand. As women and men mature from a young person, they know more than any other time what they want to do. Is it always what they need to do? Look at the link between all those who were responsible for the downfall of Robert Sylvester Kelly. Now let's think about those responsible for the rise of Robert Sylvester Kelly. How many people can we name for the rise of Robert Sylvester Kelly? I'll wait for a second to let that sink in for a little bit. The person who took the time to mentor this man, 
who made it to the top because R. Kelly made it to the top while slowly balancing himself, while still watching for those spiritual leeches that were swarming around him, he still kept his balance. The power of fame to take a travel into the mind of the king of R&B, to take a journey through this thought today. Let's think about his thoughts today. Take a journey through his mind and think of what he would be thinking if you were he. What would you find? See, the haters don't really visit this channel. Why? Because there is only one focus here, to get the truth through research as an observer. There's two things we must focus, our attention and our distraction. Focus and distraction balances itself. What do I mean, Kelly Nation? So we are placed on stage at a sold out concert. R. Kelly is doing all his favorite hits. He comes over to you and says, finish the song. You know the lyrics. You didn't see this coming. You may or may not be a singer. In this instance, your focus is super strong. You already know what you have the capabilities to vocally do. Now, yet your belief in yourself becomes the distraction. This is the deciding factor in what is decided next. Now, if you're good, we will keep it moving and sing to the best of our ability, holding the notes and possibly get a round of applause from the audience and a shout out from the king. However, if you like, if you like to yourself, however, wait a minute. However, if you lie to yourself, knowing you can't hit a note, no amount of self-confidence can save you. Not a good choreographer can save the fact that keeping the audience in awe just cannot be done. So these women that came to R. Kelly for supposed talent to get mentored and help with their career stood there on stage when their time came and couldn't hold a damn note to the voice talents of a superstar. Back to the story. To take that journey into the mind of R. Kelly, what does it feel like? Well, all, with all the confidence we have witnessed over the quarter of a century, what does it mean to be a king in America? I think I will title this video, what does it mean to be a king in America? Well, let's first define the term king, the male ruler of an independent state, especially one who inherits the position by right of birth. What is an independent state? My definition is the authority to rule one's affairs however one chooses with the right to sovereignty or supreme power or authority. The powers that be seem to have a hard time sharing this power. Would it be safe to say that R. Kelly the star was seen as that all-powerful king of R&B, taking that journey into the mind of the man behind R. Kelly? Mr. Robert Sylvester Kelly, do you know that he has the same energy within him right now to come forth as the bright and morning star, the sun, to again walk on water? with the spiritual connection that makes prisoners break free from the shackles so they can once again dance. To do what one has come to the planet to do through manifestation, or in other words, an event, an action, or object that clearly shows or embodies something, especially a theory or an abstract idea. The abstract idea is the creative expression that cannot be sealed away. It cannot be incarcerated by bars. The journey into Robert Sylvester Kelly, the man before R. Kelly, is that energy, is that power that only God creator source can give to man that no man can take away. Kelly supporters, I am here to thank you on behalf of our dear, beloved brother, Mr. Robert Sylvester Kelly. 
It is with honor, loyalty, and blessings we await your return home, Rod. We are here for you now. No matter the war you endure, I will use the hairstyle analogy. When creating the lock journey, one is not worried about how he or she begins the journey, but it's how he or she ends the journey that shows the lock process. So R. Kelly Appeal TV, you are a live, breathing existence for Mr. Robert Sylvester Kelly. Each person that visits this channel on a regular basis breathes life into the thought of freedom for Mr. Robert Sylvester Kelly. You, my friend, are a loved person for those who watched you grow before our eyes, Rob. You may not have made all the right decisions. I get that. No one does because we're all human. But this is a letter to the one and only King of R&B. We thank you for all you have done for us as a nation. We await your safe return, showing all the love to nurture you back to strong mental health after the journey back to the studio with your stogie and equipment and peace of mind as a stronger, wiser mentality because you See clearly now, you have weeded out all the snakes. This reminds me of the Antoine Fisher story at the beginning when everyone was all around as he was a little boy, but in the end, one can be grateful for the true few standing friends who only have your best interest at heart. We love you, Rob. We thank you so much for listening to this podcast. So I say to you, for anyone who felt that what they did today was something significant, something historical, guess what? No weapon formed against this man will prosper because he is here he know the world knows, the world knows. And I believe that if we keep focused and determined to help him understand that through this all, we're going to make it, we're going to get through it. No matter what the devil tries to do, no matter what stops, breaks, no matter what uh, our wrenches is thrown in, no weapon will prosper to those that are in alignment no matter how much these people feel what they feel, you know, it is the lies that continues to grow. How does a lie grow? How does it grow? Not even being single. Lies create evil uh, uh, betrayal with that so-called friends will do what they did today when the time comes and they see that this is the way to help him and this is the way that people do when they have conference calls instead of muting, as April Shower said, instead of, instead of, uh, you know, not recording, but just being at peace and listening so we can have a piece of history just a piece of his history to know what's going on inside. That's all it was about. It wasn't about us. It wasn't about you. It wasn't about you. It was about him. So I thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing to this channel. If there's any comments, I would love to hear them. Um, those that are very disrespectful, we will not be keeping them. However, I read everything. And nothing scares me. Nothing puts fear into me because I know that I know that I know who I am, whose I am, and what universal source that I protect myself with. And any negative vibration I return to sender. So it comes back a hundredfold upon the recipient, the upon the person trying to promote it or propagandize it into our lives. And that's what I want all my R. Kelly Appeal Nation supporters and fans and um, um, commenters, I want you all to think that way. The strength and the power beyond your words are stronger than any shackle that can hold one down. And, you know, so I just got home from a very long day. <sighs> it's sunny, 77 degrees here. 
the wind is blowing very ever so gently and it's just like so nice so nice and i hope it's nice for you as well keep your head up kelly nation and know that this was only a stunt to create chaos for mr robert sylvester kelly but this too shall pass Hey, maybe we're not supposed to get an extension. Maybe what there there's no excuse. August 1st is August 1st. Okay, get get your get, I don't care how many uh um court dockets you have to read attorney Jennifer Bungeon, you got to keep doing it, baby. You got to keep doing it. And if you you need help, you need support, I am here as a colleague. I mean, hey, you know what I do. So I'm here for you. Um, it's just amazing. It's amazing how peace and tranquility can hold a situation that others feel is falling all apart. But it's not. It's not. The creator is aligning it just like the creator aligned the planet to spin on its axis for centuries and centuries and it's still moving it's still moving honor to my grandson for doing his homework came to me and told me that you know the axis on you know is all part of the whole universal alignment you know that and that everything every single thing that we do aligns that every movement every baby that's born every person that passes away they project that energy to keep the vibration of the planet spinning. So what man can do that? No matter how great. Remember, sovereignty is that energy that is within us that gives us the right to stand in our square and know that we know that we know that we know what we believe. Because nothing is going to stop the flow of greatness. So, yeah, God bless you. And as always, keep it 100 and we'll see you next time.